Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is the second quarterfinals match of the July, January. I wish it was July. It's raining and cold right now. But January 2014 Zero K tournament. And this is going to be Drone versus Lori. We just saw Cube versus Lori, and Lori beat Cube pretty decisively, pretty effectively. So now we have. Drone versus Lori. We saw God versus Klon earlier as well. So, like I said, whoever wins this beats or has to beat God to beat the entire tournament. And whoever loses this can fight for third place with Klon. The game has begun. We are on Geyser Plains. Lori on the west side of the map and Drone on the east side of the map. Drone is going for light vehicles. Cube. Sorry. Lori is going for light vehicles as well. Both light vehicles on a map like this, not entirely surprising. It is a fairly flat map. It's not one that. Vehicles do poorly on, though there are some hills, so the pathing can be a little wonky. Normally, I often see shield bots on here, but vehicles are not uncommon. And Drone is... Not sure what he's building. Lori going for some darts. Drone built a dart, but now just focusing entirely on building up his economy. While Lori is going for heavy dart, actually. Going straight to the north with the darts and trying to harass from the north down. While Drone, on the other hand, just sending enough... Well, he lost that dart, actually. The smoking wreckage is right here. And he has more Scorchers coming up. That seems to be his main focus right now. It's going to be Scorchers and his Mason as well. He's really not focused on heavy raiding. But that is going to be a big deal if it, or if and when it comes up. So, Drone and Lori. Kind of evenly matched. That's kind of nice. We, the last few matches we saw were not very evenly matched. But you see by ELO values even, the two were very evenly matched. Now, we did see that Lori is pretty fond of having quite a few Scorchers on the map. Drone, on the other hand, we mostly saw him with tanks and a few other things. I don't really recall him playing a lot of vehicles. So, we'll see what he does, but at this stage in the game, Scorchers is what you do. That's just what's going to happen. So, we'll see a bunch of Scorchers at first. Where it goes from here is where it's important. I'll just point out that Lori looks like he's focused heavily on E-Cell and also early wind gen. Bit more vulnerable, a bit more volatile, but cheaper. Well, Drone, on the other hand, actually has a slight disadvantage in economy. He's not got as many metal extractors. Yeah, Lori has more metal extractors than... Oh, well, actually, no. They have the same... Three there? Four? Well, same number. However, Drone has taken a three... A metal extractor worth three metal rather than two, which is the typical number of... Or typical amount of metal gathered by a single metal extractor. This map's a little bit wonky, actually, when it comes to metal values. I mean, as you can see, the metal patches don't even match up. Zero K... Actually, give it to the battle first. I'll get to the background after. So, Drone and Lori fighting their scores together. It looks like Lori will be winning that particular fight. As Lori is actually pushing his commander further and further in. And that will be a fairly effective thing to do. Drone and Lori both have a standard... Well, not quite standard. There's light particle beam for Lori. That's actually a new commander weapon as far as I know. So, particle beam for Lori. Beam laser for Drone. And... Drone doing a pretty good job consolidating the center, while Lori doing a great job flanking. Anyways, I was saying, 0k, what it does, being that it's based off, well, Spring Engine, which is kind of has a lot to do with Total Annihilation, the metal was just a bunch of patches. It was, you draw in patches, and then it's like, there's blobs of metal, and then you just gather from wherever in there. 0k, however, tries to make it more precise, and in a lot, well, unless you have something written for it, will automatically set metal spots based on basically the center of those blobs which doesn't necessarily align with the metal textures. On a map like this, it's very noticeable. Most maps, it's usually not a big deal. Most maps usually have one metal spot for an area. And you can set up, you can specify where the metal spots are. Anyway, Lori doing a good job, still keeping his harassment going, keeping Drone on his toes, really. I mean, Drone actually doesn't even have, he still has an economy advantage. Drone is still ahead in economy. He's been building up in the center. He's been getting the very valuable, getting a valuable metal extractor. This other metal extractor is 1.5. It's hardly valuable at all. But Lori can't easily harass into Drone's base, and Drone hasn't... Well, Lori hasn't really been building as much. I mean, he hasn't been harassing as much. He hasn't been building as much. So Lori is kind of behind an economy right now. And military. And Lori doing a pretty good job harassing to the north. I mean, he hasn't done a terrible job harassing. It's just that Drone has been building a bit faster than that. Now, Lori, on the other hand, does have about equal metal right now. Energy is where he's really lacking, especially given that his commander is pretty much his entire source of 
is his entire source of energy. This one windmill is the only other source of energy he has, but that's barely providing any. So Lori is very much stalling on energy right now. He needs more. He needs more quickly. And he is starting to build some. He's getting... Or I'm pretty sure he's starting to build some. I notice his energy is increasing. Getting a solar plant. He has a second solar plant right here, and it is... Not a bad spot to defend the metal extractor, but... At this point, he's finally gotten a bit more even for energy. Getting another solar plant that's allowing him to actually use up the metal that he is starting to gather up. But at this point, Drone is still a bit ahead. It's just kind of even. It's still kind of even. Lori's starting to push the center. This Raptor doing a pretty good job pushing the center. And unfortunately, not good enough. That will not last long. The Scorchers, Drone Scorchers are getting rid of Lori's. And Lori's Scorchers from the north are coming down and trying to get rid of Drone's commander. But unable to do so, being... Blocked off by Drone's own Scorchers. Light Particle Beam trying to do what it can. Actually, Light Particle Beam is apparently a very powerful new weapon. And I believe it, but even then, Lori's Commander is taking a huge amount of damage. It looks like it's about ready to go down. If more of the fact that it's... The Particle Beam is doing a huge amount of damage. How much... 40... Okay, 120 damage a second. Yeah, that's pretty powerful, all right. This it sounds pretty powerful compared to Beam Laser, which is... 150. No, Beam Laser's about the same. But it doesn't matter. Lori still decides that he cannot win this game and wants to go on to Game 2. Forfeits, and that is the match. So, I'll have Game 2 for you in just a moment. Stay, that's a better one. Stay tuned! Welcome back, Zero K fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you the second match of the semifinals between Drone and Lori. That is after the last match on Geyser Plains went to Drone. See what Lori does to deal with this. And we're going to be playing this match on Frozen Planet, which is actually a very Spiderbot friendly map. So we're in the semifinals, by the way. The semifinals have been. God versus Klon, as you can see, God won pretty handily. FX Drone versus Lori. At this point, Drone is on his way to win, but we'll see what Lori manages to pull off. Lori is not a weak player by any stretch, and that was a very close match in the last game. In fact, Lori may have surrendered a bit too soon. However, we are on game two, one way or the other. Game two is upon us. And it has begun. So we have Drone in the southwest corner of the map going for spiders, and Lori in the southeast corner of the map going for spiders as well. A bit of a curious choice. In this map, you can choose the entire right side for the blue player and the left side for the red player. But the problem is that, as you can see, these extractors here... Actually... Oh, I'm sorry. I was confused with a different map. But still, these extractors here are a bit tricky. I mean, the thing is, this hill, it's a bit hard to expand from here. This area is a bit more defensible for spiders. So I'm not surprised Drone went where he did, but Lori, I'm surprised he went where he did. And I was thinking of... Actually... Geyser Plains come to think of it. <laughs> anyway, Fleas coming in for Drone will be taken out by Lori's Fleas, and both players know they are playing Spiders, which, like I said, is no surprise in this map. Given the sheer number of hills on this map, there is no reason one would not play Spiders. It's just hills everywhere. Hills upon hills, and weird green-yellow fog. I'm not sure why that's the fog color. I kind of turned that off. It's so disgusting. Anyway... Turn on for the next game. But Lori is in a nice position. He's actually really good defensive position for this. And then with fleas, with spiders, the flea use the fleas to scout it. You want to figure out what your opponent's up to. Admittedly, spider versus spider, flea wars are actually a vile thing. Against any other factory, the fleas are so weak they just die in one shot to everything. But against other spiders, flea wars can be a thing. Like, really tricky flea harassment. It looks like that's exactly what's gonna happen. This defender's not gonna be able to reload two missiles in, not full three. And the Flea able to get rid of the Defender very nicely. So Lori off to a good start. But not a whole lot can be definitively said. A Venom has been built. More Fleas are likely forthcoming after this Weaver. Not likely. They are forthcoming after the Weaver. And at the same time, we have Weavers coming in from Drone, but no Venoms. And we're not seeing any Venoms on the map for him. Entirely Fleas. Which means, of course, that we're going to be seeing a lot of... Well, at this point, we see Drone has taken a lot of the north side. So he has definitely got a flank on Lori. But this Venom can just take out any group of fleas that wants to, pretty much with impunity. The only thing is the defender, of course, once again going down, so defenders on both sides not doing especially well. 
Also, Radar Tower going down, so that removes a lot of Lori's ability to see. However, Drone is also in line of sight only, so both players back to line of sight only. No radar for either player. Drone will likely build radar soon, and Lori is going to be rebuilding radar. I would be surprised if he didn't. Both players have pretty much transitioned to Venoms at this point. Another Venom from... Well, entirely Venoms for Lori, and another Venom from Drone. A few more fleas from Lori for a bit of extra scouting, but at this point... They're not the most useful. The Venoms will be able to stop them before they deal any damage. Slight attempts of harassment from Lori. Actually, this this harassment here is not too bad. This flea will die to the wind generator exploding, but still got rid of a wind gen. Lori does have some fleas just scouting around. He's using it for their main purpose, which is vision. What you want to do with spiders is basically use fleas as a map hack and then use other units on the hills just ambush when you know you can. Against other spiders, this is much less important. Against, say, Cloakies, this is extremely important. Actually, any other factory is very important, but against spiders, like I said, fleas can be a bit more of a frontliner unit. A bit more, not very much more. Venoms are still scary enough that it's not totally viable. And there you have Radar here for Drone. He does have Radar up to this hill, but no further. Radar, of course, cannot penetrate mountains. If that's why it's being placed so high up. But yeah, it can't penetrate mounts. Can't do anything about that. And it looks like Lori is winning this fight with the Venoms. He has more Venoms and therefore will win the EMP battle. Stun locking Drone's Venoms and making absolutely sure that Drone cannot stop him. Even the Fleas, most of them are stun locked. Not all of them though. And some of them are able to get in and deal some damage. But even then, it does not much matter. At this point, is there a transition going on? No, there isn't. Spider Factory is... Just producing weavers. A few more venoms are forthcoming. Actually, a lot of venoms haven't destroyed. Drone able to get the fleas up and around to actually kill those venoms. Still, the fleas have been put into a really bad spot right now. But drone continuing to produce fleas, or was continuing to produce fleas, not anymore. Focusing entirely on venoms now. As is actually Lori's focusing on weavers now. Looks like he's trying to transition to a more production focused setup. Not entirely sure, but. Lori did lose all his Venoms. That match turned... That fight there turned around very quickly. And it looks like... Even with that, no more Weavers being built, but... Lori barely... Does not have the economy to deal with this. He can't actually build up that quickly. He should have made a couple of those Weavers into Venoms instead. He is starting to build Recluses, but at this point, that's not worth it. He can't actually use the Recluses very effectively. He doesn't have anything to stop the enemy units from fighting, and... A map like this is actually kind of hard to make recluses work because the hills. I mean, more so, the spiders can take adva full advantage of the hills, so the recluses have a bit of a harder time with this. Like I said, it's easy for them to miss. As just happened, as we just witnessed, the recluses have a hard time hitting uphill. Almost able to get it, though. Not quite, but almost. The venom on a slightly more advantageous side, but even then, the recluse can't quite hit. And that's with line of sight, too. So the Recluse, unfortunately, unable to get rid of the Venom. Just barely able to get rid of the Venom. The Weaver took a lot of damage, but that Venom's out. And at the same time, Lori has been expanding across the map, but Drone has also been expanding, and he's been expanding a bit sooner. At this point, Lori does have a slightly stronger economy, but he's been expanding sooner. And Drone now sending up a bunch of laser turrets, not doing a whole lot except basically distracting the Recluses. They are all going down, but really, they are distracting the Recluses, which is pretty much what likely he wants to do. Admittedly, having all those laser turrets wouldn't be a bad idea, especially the Stinger. That'd be extremely powerful, but I doubt it's going to happen. What's likely to happen, however, is these fleas coming in, drone coming in, streaming in fleas, entirely fleas, just figures there are no Venoms left. There are only Recluses left. There is a Venom in production, by the way, but there's basically no Venoms left. Only Recluses. They can be destroyed by the ticks. However, the ticks, or no, the fleas, I mean, the fleas, however, have to get past this laser turret, which they aren't doing particularly effectively. In fact, the laser turret has more than paid for itself on flea kills. Surprisingly enough. Yep. Yeah, paid for itself twice over, entirely with flea kills. That was a lot of fleas being pushed in. That was about nine fleas just getting eaten up by that laser turret. But... That, or possibly more, probably 18 fleas, actually. Still, Lori getting... Actually, taking a lot of damage from these Recluses, they're still able to deal with everything here, despite the lack of Venoms. Now, Venoms are here. They're definitely back. They're able to get rid of this, these Fleas, but they might stun the Recluses in the process. And looks like the Fleas... Nope, Fleas will not survive this. One of the Venoms, however, unwisely goes near Defender. 
And at the same time, Drone, he's really pushing hard with these fleas. It's not going to be enough, but it's not terribly bad. However, his main thing is that he's expanding, but both players are actually pretty even economically, despite the strong presence of Drone in the center of the map, both players are even economically. Now, Drone in the center of the map like this is very strong. It's worth pointing out this is a very strong thing to have. He is making it difficult for Lori to expand beyond what he already has. Lori going for Cloaky Blood Factory just to try to counter with sheer base firepower, basically. Rather than going for the Spider Mirror, especially with the amount of fleas being built. Not a surprise, but Recluses are what Drone is changing to. Lori is probably going to keep with... No, he's keeping with Recluses and Hermits. Not going for more Venoms. Just Hermits to tank and Recluses to actually deal the real damage. Well, the Hermits aren't bad for damage, but the Recluses really are what you want to use. Especially dealing with large clumps of things. Unfortunately, the Recluses are moving a bit too close to their prey and are getting taken out in the process. So that is not the most effective thing to do. This Cloaky Blood Factory is almost done. That's 14 seconds left before it's done. And Lori is falling behind economically now. He is still pushing forward in the Spider-Bot Factory, getting more recluses, but he's lost a lot of them. And Drone has tons of reclaimed fodder. At this point, Drone can... Actually, it's a bit surprising he's not pushing as much into the factory as I thought he would be. He's pushing a lot into developing the rest of the map, however. And that is doing him a lot of good, but at this point... I'm a bit surprised he hasn't built up a Caretaker. And we do see that, effectively, a Caretaker with the Commander is pushing forward a bunch of Glaives, getting them out as quickly as possible in order to deal with everything that Lori has built... Or sorry, that Drone has built. Not sure how effective this is going to be, however. The thing with Drone is that he is very defensively set up. I mean, a bunch... A couple Warriors would have no problem dealing with all these Defenders, but Glaives would have a harder time. The Glaives would die sooner, and even now, against the... Against the Venoms, I'm not even sure how Lori can get through there. Looks like that's going to be... Well, Harassment at least. That is one good thing to do. ISP Lori is going for Harassment. Drone is, however, just taking out the main base. I mean, Harassment is effective, yes, but... The main base is going to be going down fairly soon. Drone just needs to get some support forces here. The Recluses are here, but on the bad side of the... Actually, those are... Those are Lori's that are trying to support, but they cannot shoot through the mountain. And they can't knock down the mountain in time. I'm not even sure if they're deforming the mountain in the process. No, I don't think they're, their shots are not powerful enough to deform the mountain. So they're not getting the mountain out of their way in order to get rid of these Venoms. And at this point, more and more Glaives are being built. Harassment is being sent over to the north, but Laser Turrets are dealing with it. The Glaives cannot easily get rid of the Laser Turrets, and that was very nice Laser Turret placement by Drone. He's been placing Laser Turrets around everything he has set up. Oops. Everything he has set up has a laser turret around. Admittedly, this is a huge amount of defense, but he has a more sensible amount of defense throughout the rest of his bases. And Lori throws in the towel. That is game and match. So Lori has lost the semifinals match. He will be fighting Klon for third place. So that is game. I mean, I don't know if, who is going to be. If it's going to be Drone versus God or Klon versus Lori first. Hopefully Klon versus Lori because that is the third place now. So we're going to be doing Klon versus Lori next. And then from there we will be moving on to... Yeah, God versus Drone and Klon versus Lori. So that is the match schedule now. So Klon versus Lori first, then God versus Drone, and then... We will have our winner. So stay tuned for that. It will be hopefully very exciting. <laughs>